Austin and the surrounding areas have a number of farmer markets to explore. Allison Bogle with Austin Family has a few ways to make this a fun adventure with our children. Good morning, Allison. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Uh, these can provide yeah. such great memories as well because the farmer's markets are just fun places to be inside of. That's right, and uh, we went as a family not too long ago, and it was one of those things that I thought, okay, this is a great option as people are getting out more at work, but it also is outside, so it feels safer. And there are also so many benefits to farmer's markets that we don't necessarily think about. Uh, what are some um, of those benefits? Yeah, so the first is it really gets kids trying new food. So food just seems more exciting when it's at the farmer's market uh, over the grocery store, so they're more likely to try things that they may not have before. It also connects our kids to their food. So you can talk to the farmer who brought the food to the market. Uh, when we were there, there was a chicken that had laid the eggs that were for sale. And some farmer's markets are actually held at the farm. So you really can see those veggies growing the row that then you can purchase and bring home. Um, and then I've talked with you a lot about how great it is to get outside as a family. It's bonding. It lowers your stress. So this is another way to do that. Adults can walk around with their cups of whatever caffeine of choice and kids can pet dogs. It's just a nice time. And then, of course, healthy options abound at the farmer's market. So you're not going to run into the, you know, sugary cereal argument or the ice cream that you want to bring home. And not only are you going to find organic foods and minimally processed, but there's stuff for vegetarians and vegans, gluten-free. So really, you can meet anybody's need in the family. Um, you've also mentioned here in, in the article there's some fun games that we can play. We can turn this into a game. That's right. And so, you know, in an ideal world, you want the kids to want to come back again. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to throw a game at them. So the first one is called Find the Rainbow. And it's a lot like it sounds. You just challenge them to find a fruit or vegetable that corresponds with every color of the rainbow. And the next one is good for older kids like yours, um, creative chef. So you can say to your child, okay, pick out something you haven't tried and I want you to go home and cook us a meal with it. Now, if that might be pushing it a little bit, and, and you know that they're probably going to serve something that's inedible, it can be, find that great ingredient, we'll go home and research a recipe together. Um, older kids and younger ones also like spending sprees, so maybe you give them a certain dollar amount, and they're allowed to go around and buy what they want. You may want to set those rules, like one fruit, one veggie, and one sweet treat, because there are always those good cookies and gelatos. And then finally, a shopping list scavenger hunt. So if you know what you'd like to get from the farmer's market that day, you can assign it to the kids and send them off on a hunt to find those items. I love that idea, the, uh, the, the scavenger hunt. Who doesn't love a scavenger hunt? The adult and children Well, and it life. sounds like a game, but they're really doing the shopping for you, so it's perfect. Even better. Um, there are so many here. You've got a, a few to run down for us. That's right. So there are many in Austin, and we're in, we don't have an affinity to, affinity to any. We just wanted to get viewers started on some. So the first is Boggy Creek Farm. This one's great because it's open multiple days, and it's on an actual farm in East Austin, so you really can see those rows of veggies. Then we've got the farm at Lago Vista. Um, that's on Sundays, and it's fun because there's usually a lot of music. It's got a laid-back vibe, and it's less crowded than others. And then finally, Mueller's Farmer's Market. A lot of people may have heard of this one. It's one of the most popular in Austin, so it's also the largest and busiest. So you may want to head there on the early side. But fruits, vegetables, ethnic foods, food trailers, and kids can roam around and feed the ducks in Mueller Lake. So lots of options. Make it a whole, uh, make it a whole experience in the morning and then move yes. on to dinner and, uh, and what have you. Thank you so much, Allison. It's always good talking to you. Great, Great to, to talk, talk to you. Bye-bye. And you can pick up your copy of Austin Family Magazine on newsstands right now. Better yet, check them out online. All that information on the farmer's markets will be there, austinfamily.com.